we're somewhere in uh, northern parts of Sweden, and I'm in the middle of nowhere, uh, going to a reader's house. I have not confirmed whether or not he's going to uh, murder me and uh, harvest my organs, but if he does, he'll probably get away with it, honestly. Okay, so I'm here with James uh, in northern Sweden, where it is whiter uh, than it is uh, where I just came from in uh, Gothenburg. I'm here in northern Sweden with James and Amanda. This is their amazing homestead. And uh, that's that's their incredible barn, which has uh, the most amazing garage in it. This is the homestead. I was working in my van. I was not using the battery that my friend in Belgium gave me. And so I ran my car battery down. I need to get the car started and I can't roll it backwards because that right there is the bay. So if I roll it downhill, it goes into the water. So I'm going to try to roll start it uphill, I guess. <sighs> Boy. Or I'll just get a jump start. I don't know. We'll see. See the fox? He's right there. Not going to spook it. But there he is. Kind of a beautiful animal. There he is. Checking me out. Definitely checking me out like this man does he have a dead battery does he have food i do have a dead battery and i might have some food actually now if only we could exchange one fish for some help pushing this van we'd be in a good spot fox we really would oh my god why did i park on this hill Peter told me these two wires are to be used in emergency use only. You should actually never use, but these are actually connected straight to the cell. So if you never ever need to jump start your car, which I would not recommend, you can still. You can't point to things on this and you say never use, use them. So, you know so I'm going to want to use the things that you say I can't. No, it's, you shouldn't use it, but it's there if you ever need to use this it. This makes it more tempting. Yeah. I'm not saying it's an emergency, but. I'm gonna be stuck here for a hot minute because I can't seem to push this van off this gravel. So we're gonna see if Peter's recycled bicycle batteries work at all or if they're just total junk. Well, we have hooked up Peter's battery and I don't think it's going to do it. It wasn't charged, so I should have known, but uh, it was a Hail Mary pass. Oh my goodness, it cranked. It did it one crank, oh man. It was so promising. I guess we'll keep it charging for a little bit. See what happens. Oh shit, it worked, holy crap. Oh my gosh, Peter from Belgium. You are a lifesaver. Look at this, just some old electric bicycle batteries. Incredible. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. It is um, 1.30 in the morning. I have to catch a ferry tomorrow night, but I'm like 13 hours from that ferry. So if I drove all day tomorrow, I'd be cutting it close. So I gotta get some driving in today. Um, yeah, this sucks. Visibility is limited and there are enormous thousand plus pound animals that like to run across the road. Today is going to be a rough day. I've still got 11 hours to drive and I don't really have a lot of time before my ferry leaves. So I really can't stop much. It's going to be about 11 hours of nonstop driving. Still over seven hours before I'm at the ferry. It's right around seven o'clock. I've been on the road for probably 11 hours. All right, we're in the last hour of this 13 plus hour day of driving. 
Here we are, heading aboard the boat. Here we are on the ship. My van is parked uh, over here. There it is. And right behind it, you will see, is a beautiful Morgan. Check it out. Man, how cool is that? Check out the uh, sleeping quarters. The cryogenic chambers. I'm gonna be cold today. We have exited the boat and we are back in Germany. So now I'm driving on the island of Rügen in Northern Germany. It wasn't far from the uh, port where I docked. So I figured, you know what, let's swing by. Check this out, I'm on Rügen and we're gonna see in a second the ruins of what's called KDF or Kraft durch Freude. I mean, strength through joy. It's like this, it was this state run like a leisure program put on by the Nazis in the 1930s. They basically built these huge vacation destinations. And also they were responsible for the Volkswagen Käfer, the Beetle, formerly known as the KDF Wagen. Hey everybody, it's me, Jason, Jalopnik's Volkswagen Beetle expert. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the KDF program from Nazi Germany. Now the Nazis did terrible things. We all know this, but the KDF program wasn't the worst thing they did. It was a leisure program run by the state that was designed to let everyday people go off and do things like take vacations and go to leisure activities and that kind of thing. And to do this, the KDF program, which of course stood for Kraft der Freude, which means strength through joy, uh, to do these things, to get to big resorts like the Prora kind of giant weird industrial concrete resort, you had to be able to get there. And to get there, they had the Autobahn network, but to get anywhere on the Autobahn network, you needed a car. And that's where the KDF Wagen came in. The KDF Wagon, the straight through joy car, was what eventually became the Volkswagen Beetle. That was the original name of this car, and it was originally designed to be a machine that people could drive to get to all these places, even if they didn't have a lot of money. So yeah, that's how the Beetle started, originally as the KDF Wagon. There it is, the ruins. And it's just absolutely gargantuan. So the idea was people would just show up here to Rügen, this island up in Northern Germany, and they would just enjoy some R&R in these endless buildings. I mean, they are endless. I mean, it just, it's so freaking long. I wonder if I can go, no, they definitely won't let me in them. But it's right along the shore. So, you know, you can see why this would be a, what they were thinking with the vacation destination. I actually don't think these were ever used. I don't, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think there were thousands of people having a great time playing beach ball, uh, living in these vacation spots. Oh man, what an incredible building. I'm gonna walk her along the length of it because it's just so big. I have to say I'm really surprised with how many Germany has left abandoned. You know, some of them, you can see, have been turned into apartment buildings, which makes sense because it's on this beautiful beach. But to keep such prime property dilapidated must have been tough. Tough call financially, but I will say historically it's amazing. This 1994 250, well, now 260,000 mile minivan has been mechanically perfect, comfortable, and efficient. It is the best road trip car I've ever owned, so more road trips are in order. Plan on checking out an, an amazing Jeep collection in Italy. There's a supercar maker I plan to visit. I won't mention which one. Hmm. And then maybe someday I'll bring it back to the U.S.